from the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. From the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Stuka Championships of 2024. The host nation, Qatar, welcomes the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world. Now it's time to meet the players from India, Paris. Come on in. Well, welcome to the Asian Stuka Championships of 2024. And how are you feeling? Uh, I'm super excited because uh, this is my first international event and conditions are superb and I'm just feeling a whole lot excited. On behalf of Cantabilia Federation, we wish you all the best. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. Mohammed, welcome. And how are you feeling for the Asian Snooker Championships? Yeah, everything seems to be great, really. I'd like to thank everybody who put this all together. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful event. We say thank you and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let the game begin the 10 o'clock session. From the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Team number three, we have Pankaj Adwani from India and Ayman Al Amari from Saudi Arabia. Referee is Fahim Sheikh from Qatar. Team number two, we have Ahmad Al Murjani from Belgium and Aves Mani from Pakistan. Referee is Tahir Hussain from Pakistan. And on team number one, we have Mohammed Shahab from the United Arab Emirates and 
Himalayas Kutta, Romania, Refugee East, Norway, Kavaria, from Pakistan. Some other matches just for seven games. Good luck with this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. The host nation, Qatar Doha, welcomes the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world. Mohammed, we just seen their break off. Very nice break. Paris, I saw play yesterday. He didn't performed to his best yesterday he miscued on a couple occasions so how will he play today and it indicates to me he is going all in and that's how you got to play if you, if you want to get your game going show your opponent you're not afraid to take on the big shots And a beautiful camera angle there to see Mohammed. It's Q action. It is very cold in the arena, I must admit. <laughs> but the table is very warm. And congratulations to the sponsors of the event. Qatar Airways, we say thank you very much. I can confirm. Qatar TV are here in the audience filming. So we say thank you very much to Qatar TV. You play a major part in broadcasting as well as Alcast and BN Sports. And they do take the feed from the channel. So it's just not broadcasted on YouTube. Thousands and thousands around the Middle East are watching the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. It's always important to remember sponsors play a major part in this event. I have seen Mohammed play many times over the years, and I have commentated on his game many times. So I'm going to identify his strengths and his weaknesses throughout the match. And has he improved in his game in respect to adjusting to the conditions as well? Paris, for the first time, has got another opportunity. He will attack this. Very attacking player. He's no stranger to this table. He did play yesterday, but he didn't perform anywhere near his uh, best of his ability. But I like how he plays. I really do. Very attacking. He wants to get on and break build. He can do it. But he hasn't performed to his best at the moment. Nervy start for both players. So let's see. Mohammed will take this shot on. And a fantastic billiard player as well.
yeah the hesitation he's got options and that's always the problem when you look at the shot selection in training in local tournaments you tend to get on with it but he's trying to develop the black there but in this tournament in the group stages you're pushing your mind to perform he didn't want the red to go too far up the table there because if the red gets nestled, uh, sorry, if the cue ball gets nestled into the cluster there, it's going to be difficult to get safe with that red a little bit down the table, closer to the black. Just watching the replay there. Very attacking. Harris is. It was a very nice shot though. Congratulations to all of the referees from day one for an tremendous performance. It's very difficult to be a referee. You're standing out there for hours on end, possible for four hours. So he's nominated his colour because they're both close together. And this is what I like about Paris. He is such an incredible potter machine. He hasn't performed his best yesterday, but I did see glimmers of his potting ability and we are just witnessing it right now. I really like the way he's playing his style is slightly different very determined and he's pushing himself as well i don't know the group stages i'll find out 
And I'll look at the website to see where he is in his group. I know he's lost his first match, so this must be a must-win match. And if that's the case, the pressure is on. Now, I can confirm Mohammed has won his first match. So he must be top of his group. And this is the second match for Paris, so he must win this game to stay in the tournament. So now that's going to reflect on his game. His presentation is excellent. Determination is 100%. And his potting, he's letting go of the cue ball. He's swinging it around there. And I'm starting to already see Paris has got a new game coming in. Look at that determination on this red to the corner. Yeah, he's going to be disappointed because he feels that he should have potted that. But a nice break of 27. With a 23 point lead. Hamid is such a great player. I've seen him get centuries after centuries. It's very cold in the arena. Put that in off. Could cost him dearly. But I like the way Paris is playing the game. Very attacking. He's, he's not sitting, playing safety to wait for a better opportunity. He, he is going in. And I, I favour the player who's attacking sometimes and Mohammed is waiting for a better opportunity But where's the white? So that misfortune. From Mohammed. He hasn't left much, but he will leave this red. He will go for this. Determined, focused, 
straight line. You just got to freeze the cue ball. Don't let the cue ball run anywhere. Just hold it. And this is going to be a beautiful shot. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen, how he holds the cue ball. He freezes the cue ball. And there it is. What a fantastic shot. It really is. He played that to perfection. And this is the reason why he's got such a strength in his game. It's self-belief to play that shot. But then the easy black... has been missed. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He's asking himself, how did I miss that? And the answer is quite easy. The easy ones are the hardest ones to pop. And Mohammed would be so happy to get to the table. That's a very nice shot there to hold for the black. Now let's have a look at the scores. 62 plays 32. And with the black to come, nice open reds. I was talking earlier about commentating on Mohammed's games over the 13 years. I've watched him. And what I'm seeing as a new routine. He slowed down his pace at the beginning. He's getting his confidence back. He's looking very comfortable and there's the cue action. And the easy one has been missed again. It has happened to a lot of players. They tend to miss the black. We saw yesterday Pankaj miss the same black. He's just slightly aiming at the jaw. Of all the players I've seen play on this table, for positioning, it will go down to Amir from Iran. Very consistent and with potting and accuracy for Pankash as well in the heart of the pocket and of course Annie O'Bailey a contender for the title as well and there it is I'm afraid they won't go in if you hit the knuckle I've not seen one ball hit the knuckle and go in at that pace must adjust to the table and the conditions and he's getting the cue ball cleaned he's had a slight kick Taking no chances, taking the brown here. 
to get to the points of level. So he's hoping to get his brake building up higher, but right now he's taking every point possible. Twenty nine place thirty three. Red to the middle. Hold for the pink if he wanted. But the blue is the better option as you can see on the cue ball. He's aiming around about five to ten. And that's perfect. Slightly below centre here for the blue to control the white. And it's very important when you're queuing the cue ball to stay still. As soon as you flick into the cue ball, you could be slightly out. And it's going to take a different path to what you think it's going to take. And look at the focus. And he's pushing his body so much. It will take a toll on him in the match. You can't maintain that concentration for three or four hours. We saw yesterday one match, three and a half hours. So three points in it. So the black and the pink will not play any part in this match due to the fact of the point system and this red. If he runs the table. When it comes down to the colors it's clinical snooker. No mistakes. Now he's just checking. Players tend to do this. Yeah, either use their hand or their body or even the cue sometimes to indicate to themselves where they want to be. He's overran it slightly. But he can play left-handed and right-handed. But I can assure you, he didn't want to be using the rest at this stage. So he's played that perfect. Because you need the angle from the brown to the blue. So just running away with this frame now. 47 plays 33. With 25 on the table. Yeah, he's played that nice. It looks so easy, but you have to get the angle from the brown to the blue. And that's the difference at this standard. Now this blue to take the first frame. Nicely done. It's so important in best of seven to take the first frame. It hasn't been a high scoring game. It's been a survival game. Mohammed's very good at survival games. He will dig in deep. He won't give in. He's played that very nice. So Mohammed has won the first frame. How can Harris come back into this match? He's had opportunities. He will look at this, and there we are, some of the players there. And there is the gentleman with the, if I could get this right, with the glasses. He is the table fitter. He makes sure all the tables are running. And there is Amir from Iran. And I think that's, I'm not too sure who that is. 
it's, uh, it's great to see the players come and support their players as well. I was speaking to Saudi Arabia today. They're putting in a big performance as well with their players. Hong Kong, China. Their players are doing well. And the crowd will pick up into the knockout stages. I think it's the knockout stages very shortly. I think it's tomorrow. I'm not too sure. But I will find out for you. But Amir from Iran sitting there. The first back-to-back -back century player on the TV table. And there is the gentleman with the camera. He's from Qatar TV. Tremendous person. He really is. He, he's making sure he's got all the film editing for Qatar TV to watch. And all of Qatar watch that program. So he takes snapshots out and he puts them all together and does the film editing. It's a lovely atmosphere. It's very quiet in the arena. Great sportsmanship as well. And while we have this quick opportunity, congratulations to Team Qatar for putting this event on. And Abdullah, who's the media director, congratulations to him putting on a great team for the camera crew, as well as editing, as well as Bob Budder doing the professional photos. So here comes number frame number two. Here's the break. He has to carry on playing his game. Stay with his game. And he should be okay. If he goes into tactical battles, I feel that he will lose on the tactical battles. Because his opponent is very strong at that. But attacking is his game. And he will go a long way. Now, Mohammed is pushing a great shot, that was. However, Parrish will go for this red. I hope he does and keeps his game there. He's got one out of one so far on the long potting. He's a tremendous potter. He's got to go for it. Not too much damage. He, he put a bit of too much safety in, to be fair. But I love the way he plays. I really do. It's very entertaining. He's taking on big shots. Ahmed is just saying, I'm going to wait for a better opportunity. Paris looking 
for a plant? Is he... Yeah, he's attacking this red. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to screw back to the Bork cushion. Watch the power in the cue ball. There it is. Well played. And, and the reason why I like the way he plays, he's putting pressure on his opponent, psychological pressure. He's telling... there. There's the breathing out there. He's saying, well, my opponent's going for it here. I need to make this red go in and hold for the black. Let's see if Muhammad will take this on. He will take it on. Can he hold for the black? <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. That is so difficult. He made it look so easy. The skill in holding this cue ball, freezing it <laughs> without moving it is incredible. Now that's handy. Very handy. Because if that black went on that spot, it could have tied that red up. And that could have been the end of the break. So he's looking for the blue. Wow, he's played for the pink. So it must go past the black, the cue ball. He's looking at it. And the pink will go on the black spot, so that's very helpful. So he doesn't want to move the cluster. Just trying to work out. How is he going to get to the next red? I'm just looking. Is he going to go that way? So is he taking the red above the black spot? Wow. He didn't want that. And does that pink go on the spot? I don't think it does. So he's okay on that shot. But the red, I'm afraid, is not available. So we're containing safety. And Muhammad will be disappointed. He knows that he should be into a break system here. Wow, the shots are nothing there. I feel Paris will go for this. He's looking at it. He is all attack. He, I hope he does go for, oh, he's gone safety. It's a shame because he is really attacking this game. But he has left that red, I'm afraid. The Paris fans around the world. Your young man from India is trying his heart out there. But he's allowed his opponent to see this red to the right corner. Beautiful. That is such a beautiful shot.
and it gives you confidence when you're playing like that inside yourself you say hey i can pop these balls now i'm getting confident i'm going to take the blue on but muhammad has gone the opposite way he's saying well i'm going to leave the blue and play a safety and wait for another opportunity A tap on the table from Paris. He knows that, that was a good shot. So how is he going to get the cue ball safe here? Because he has to be careful. And that was the danger. He's caught it too thin. And has he left that red to the corner? The right corner I'm looking at, the left is too too difficult. Any, uh, any of those reds to the left is too difficult. Because you're crashing into the reds and to get onto a color is very difficult. played so the chess game has arrived in frame number two but I do feel Paris will go for this red he's looking at it he's weighing it up he's saying I can pop these in practice I'm playing in the Asian Super Championships I want to show my family I want to show my fans that I'm here to win and this red Yeah, he's looked at it. This is a great shot. I hope. I, I got to stay biased, but boy, this is a great shot if he gets this red. Oh, he's hesitated. He wants to go for it, but his body's saying, no, we're not going for that. I need to play safe. Well, he did go for it. And I don't blame you, Paris, because that's the way you play your game. And it will arrive if you keep trying hard. And you never know, you might get an opportunity again. His belief in his ability is incredible. And this could be an opportunity now. Like I said in the beginning, that the way Paris plays, he's putting pressure on his opponent. And his opponent is missing the easy ones. And that's what, how Paris plays. He, he, he can put psychological pressure. But he hasn't got an easy red at all. There's nothing there. What a shot. What a shot. He pulled it out. That was incredible. And that's what Paris can do. Blink of an eye and you'll miss it. I got great belief in his game. I really have. I like the way he plays. I've watched many matches on this table in this tournament. But the way Paris is playing is the way I like to see the game.
Mohammed saying, right, I'm going for it now. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the game. <laughs> we're, wa <laughs> we're watching two players battling it out there in the arena. What a fantastic game this is. It really is so enjoyable. Wow, he's controlled the cue ball to perfection, crashing off two balls. But yeah, the sigh of the relief. Did you see that? It's like a steam train. He knows how important that red was. Now, the game for the break building is there. Didn't want to tie the black up. Presentation is excellent. The focus is excellent. How is the accuracy? Well, if he was an archer, he, he's absolutely missed the target. He can't believe he's missed it. And this is giving Paris confidence. It really is. This is a nice shot. He's coming between the two reds by the black spot in around for the blue. What a shot that was. Very well controlled. Was he playing for the pink? I believe he was. But he will go for this blue. He will take it on. I'm starting to understand his game and the way he's playing. He doesn't want to surrender the table for his opponent. So he, he is looking for an attacking shot. Just knocked on the door. And Mohammed's going to be so relieved knowing that his opponent didn't get that blue. Play it. Oh, did you see what he did there? This is the alignment with his cue. He, he indicated where he wanted the cue ball to be straight on the blue. So he's walked up to the table. And he's used his cue as the alignment. So that's very clever. He's just indicating to himself, not to us, where he wants the cue ball. Some players have got a different method of 
telling themselves but he wasn't on the blue and he didn't come straight enough he didn't i can assure you he wasn't there playing the yellow he was there playing the blue to get it back on the spot Players tend to use their hand, their finger, or indicate in to themselves where they want that cue ball. It's just a reminder to tell them what, what what's going on because they tend to be in a, a trance out there. They're trying to focus so much on what they're doing. They're forgetting where they want to be. So they go and indicate where they want to be to themselves. They're just telling themselves, right, I want that ball there. Now let's go and have a look to see that alignment where I want to go. They're just reminding themselves because when you're sitting there for two to three hours, you tend to blank that out and all of a sudden you're just hitting the ball. But you want to win the match, you want to win the championships, so you have to go beyond that level of what you do in, in training. So you have to walk to the table and know where the cue ball's going. So that's the secret in, in any sport, know where you want to be. And you have your own method to do it. So the frame is slipping away, I'm afraid, for the parish fans and family. I'm sure you guys are watching. And your young man has put in a great performance in this tournament. He hasn't performed to his best. But I can assure you, this match is not over by any means. And I hope he doesn't change his game. And, and plays his game how he plays it players tend to change their game and go into safety mode and all of a sudden they forget to pot the balls and that's not Paris he, he, he's a great potter so hopefully he'll carry on with his game so there's pink Oh, now, Paris has got his last opportunity in this game. He's trailing by 30 points. So that brown is going to play a major part. But he needs to break build. He has to get going. I don't know why Paris is looking at the scoreboard. He needs to play his game, start potting, build the points up. Players tend to look at the scoreboard and then they miss. And that's called psychological pressure on yourself. Now he hasn't come up far enough. He didn't want the cue ball there. And it, Sometimes just play the shot. So the psychological pressure is put on himself here. Can he pull out this blue and come around for the reds? And go up and down through the bulk line. Wow, well done. That is, has he come over too far? Yeah, he's overran it, I'm afraid. That was the problem. But he might be okay. All of a sudden, the cue ball just stopped. And if that's perfect, I'm looking at the camera angle. I'm not too sure if it does pass the black. Just looking at the monitors. Yes, it always oh, going for the lower black. Red, this, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Paris fan, tremendous pressure. Miss it, the game's over. Pot it. Yeah, he's, that's why he's come back off the shot. He, he's just realised, if I miss this, this is this could be game over. What an incredible, under pressure shot that was. Only he will experience 
and fans and family will experience that shot. Tremendous pressure. And he made it happen. Paris, well done. Great shot. For me, that's your best shot in the match so far. You've got a chance to win this game now. Just build yourself up. Get that confidence going to make it one apiece. You're still a long way to go. But what a shot that was. That's okay. So he's got options here. Pink or black very shortly. But that brown we talked about earlier will be playing a key part. Well, I'm surprised he doesn't take the red on the cushion because this shot is so difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, what a shot that was. Tremendous pressure. He knew he was only going to leave that red, but the reality is this. He put that away like it was over the pocket. Look at the determination on this young man. Representing his country, India. Putting in a great performance. good shot reverse side to hold the cue ball to stop it as soon as it hits the cushion a nice shot to control now he has got a couple options here he has to take this red on or he's taking it into the middle now let's have a look at this why is he taking it onto the middle why and the answer is he's going to only leave that red if he misses it so that is the clever shot. That's why he's taking it on. But why doesn't he take the one down the cushion? They're both difficult. So he's gone into this safety zone. If I miss it, I know I'm okay. And that's why he played that. So well played. It doesn't matter if it's missed. He hasn't left anything. And this is sending a message to Mohammed. You're 10 points ahead. But I'm going to go for everything on the table. Did you see the cue ball? It did a reverse spin. And what he did was beautiful. He put so much top spin on the cue ball. It went back and forward and completely stopped. What a shot that was.
he knew that he wasn't going to leave much. An apology there. Let's have a look at the score. Ten points in it. So human errors, he has to be careful. He's trying to hide the cube behind the black. But we'll look at the red. It might kiss it out if he doesn't connect it right. And there it is. It's in the open. Try to get that cube worm behind that black there. Yes, he has left it, but this is very difficult. And Mohammed has been missing these. But he's got it this time. So because Mohammed potted the red, the eight points available in the game for Paris is gone. So every red, he's taken away eight points. So it's very important to remember at points in this game, win matches. So every red Muhammad takes off the table is eight points away from his opponent. And that's how he's playing. Very interesting tactic. He will take the yellow and hold for the red into the middle. But I'm surprised he hit it under pace there. You have to hit them firm. Now, this red. And he's got this cute angle to kiss the other red off if he wants to and hold for the blue. But I don't think he will. He's going to be happy to just take the red and start getting points. What a shot. He needs the blue. He won't be settling for the green. Ten points in it. With this blue, it will be five. So all to play for. But that brown is the key ball. But has Paris come high enough? He hasn't. The table is running beautiful. That's a great shot. Nice straight line. Now, where do you hide the cue ball? Just looking at the black, to be fair. And that's a very clever shot by Mohammed. Well played. Using the pink and the yellow and the blue as as a wall. But wait a minute. No, he can't see it. Has to be careful with a double kiss. Well played. 
and that is an excellent safety shot. This is the first time I've seen Harris play safety like this. And I'm very impressed on that shot. Using the blue as a marker. Well played. Just see enough of it, I feel. This shot, you've got to trust the table. The cloth, any finger marks. Paris, that is an excellent shot. Very good containing safety. There is a shot to nothing. Mohammed is taking this on to the right, to the green pocket. Because he knows the safety wall is waiting for him. Just five points the difference. He did play that, and he's apologised. Now Paris has got the cue ball in behind the green here. And the bonus is to develop the brown. Because he will need that brown ball. He's tried it. Um, what a shot, ladies and gentlemen. What a fantastic shot. Bringing the red into the middle area. Absolutely fantastic. Well played. He's missed it. And a foul and a miss. And look at the points. They're starting to feed up now. One point in it. The foul and a miss will be playing a major part, but he has to be careful. His opponent might pot this red. I feel that he might pot it this time. I love the sportsmanship, the thumbs up there, say I'm happy with that. Ladies and gentlemen, this red into the middle pocket. Will it be there? Stay tuned. Not on this occasion. But where's the white? Unbelievable. He's completely missed the red. And he's gone in off. And Paris has got this golden opportunity. To clinch the frame, but it's a long way to go because the yellow and the brown are going to be keys here. But right now, Paris, you will be taking the lead. What a shot. For me, that's the most attacking shot. Unlucky not to be on the black, but well played. Will he roll up behind the black? Absolutely. He won't give anything away. Four points in it. Can Paris come back? Let's have a look. Is Paris going for this black and hoping to hold on for the yellow? Into the... Oh, what a shot this is going to be. This will be the shot of the championships if he can do this. This will be the best shot I've seen on this table. He's cutting this into a blind pocket. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it knocked on the door. And the yellow goes. Harris will be so disappointed. He had a golden opportunity to roll up behind the black. It didn't happen. He's took an incredible shot on. Very, very difficult taking it onto the black pocket. It's so difficult. And Mohammed knows now that this yellow and that green to the brown is going to be crucial. The yellow does go. But wait a minute. Where has the brown gone? Now. I often talk about it in the pool world. There's always a key ball. This green is the key to win this frame. Well, he's played that to perfection. Just a containing safety. Two points in it. This green. Is he going for the corner? I think he is. No, he's gone for the safety. Um, what a safety shot that is. Absolutely fantastic. Great hit. Ladies and gentlemen, a foul and a miss and a possible free ball. It's a free ball. Unbelievable scenes. Wow, we didn't expect that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Paris fan here, family are watching, India is watching, your young man has got a free ball in the time of need. Incredible scenes here to pull this frame back. I've never seen anything like it. He missed, Mohammed missed the green, and the free ball has been given. The pink has been nominated, and the green is a formality now to the brown. And Paris is looking strong now to take this frame. Surely it's going to be one apiece. Stay tuned. He hasn't come up far enough. He will be leaving a long blue. So he has to get over the blue spot in a straight line. So this brown will take him to 52 points. Place 36. See how he's using his body in the queue to identify where he wants to be in a straight line on the blue to freeze for the pink and take this frame.
perfect. He's used the side on that cue ball, and that is perfection, ladies and gentlemen. This blue, to bring it back to one apiece for all you Indian fans around the world. What a comeback in this match. It's been very entertaining with potting and safety all the way through it. And all because Paris did something very special in this game. He refused to give his game up. His potting has saved this game. He's playing to stay in the tournament. Snookers are required. But Paris knows he's got to win this match to stay in the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. But the safety in behind the black. What a shot that is. Incredible. He's hit it, he's okay. But he has to be careful because that black is waiting for the cue ball to be hidden. Where's the cue ball? Where is the cue ball? What a shot! He's done it again! Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing incredible snookers available and he's done it the unbelievable even my camera crew is like saying how's what's going on great great we are really enjoying this game all the camera crew are here enjoying it believe me we are witnessing some great snooker here so well played he's got to hit it he's got to hit it He's missed it. He's got it. He's oh, back and forward there. He's biting in and out of the pocket there. No. One more snooker required. Has it gone behind the black? Not this time. He just needed it a bit harder now. Paris, you have to. No ifs and no buts. You want to win this game? Pot the pink. Mohammed needs one more snooker. Will he pop this pink? Yes, he does. It knocked on the door. And India opened that door for the pink. Well played, Paris. Join us very shortly as we'll be back after the commercial. Arthur Dohar, where history's about to be made.
Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Yeah, you put it on to bed back. Sound good? Okay. Oh, welcome back. If you've just joined us, what an, an emotional match we just had. In frame number two. You know, no, no, no. It's been very exciting to see both players doing their best out there. It has been a very emotional match in frame two. We saw glimpses of Paris potting ability, tactical ability as well. And that has took a, a toll on both of these players. They are mentally fatigued now. So it's going to be the fittest player and mentally. Oh, what a shot, Paris. Unbelievable. He has played that absolutely perfect. So it's going to be who is the fittest in the mind in the game of snooker. Keeping your composure, keeping focused. And the key one is consistency. All those ingredients can win a match, but it's maintaining them in any sport is very difficult. But to be fair, the previous match, sorry, the previous game, Harris has shown what he's capable of doing. And this is what he's capable of doing, really attacking the bunch. And what a great shot that was. Now, I've seen a weakness in Paris's game. He's speeding up too fast. He's not slowing down. He's not being methodical. He's rushing his shot there. So he needs to slow down a little bit because he's overran the cue ball. He will look back at this and say, well, I've overran the cue ball there. And I was a bit too quick. If he played that again, he would have been perfect. Because look at the area he would have been playing in. He is looking at the blue. I feel that the blue is the right shot. And I feel that... He's taking on a... Is he trying to cut the pink in? 
yeah, no, that he didn't miss that. He had a kick on the cue ball. Completely threw that cue ball away. So he's apologised for coming down and not leaving anything for himself. I like the way Barris is playing. Very attacking. Lots of confidence in his game. He knows his opponent isn't break building right now. And that's why he's attacking. Because his opponent is making unforced errors. Players tend to see a weakness in their opponent. I don't see it. But overrunning the cue ball and using the red as a marker has stopped the break. That's a clever shot without getting the pink to hit the white there. Well, that's a very attacking safety shot. Has he left that red? I'm afraid he has. Mohammed will take this on with tremendous power. He will be trying to come back for the pink. He is dead straight, so we will power this. Oh, he's not. He's going to come around the two cushions. What a shot. Made it look so easy. Now, the reason why he's hesitating, he's crashing into the blue. So he has to make sure he avoids the blue. He's coming down the table, so he's got plenty of options here. Yeah, he's coming in and around the ball carrier. Wow, he's decided to play the straight red and hold for the black. And if he goes forward, maybe three or four inches he's got the pink available as well so he's left himself options yeah the easy ones are starting to become more difficult and that's because Parrish is putting tremendous pressure on his opponent Too risky, I'm afraid. This pink, outside oh, this red, into the middle. This is so high risk. This is missable. Yeah, it was too too Oof. difficult, Paris. Yes, you can pop them, but the reality is at this stage of the match, 
too risky. But to be fair, good fortune's played a part. And maybe he's thinking, if I push the cue ball up to the ball carrier, that's the only ball I'm going to leave the one I miss. So that's good thinking as well. If you just seen what I saw there, Mohammed tapping the table with the cue indicating this is going to be a very difficult shot to get out of. Because so I'm just looking how, yeah, you can't be, he's trying to leave the cue ball in the black area for cushion. Oh, he's going up and down. This is too risky. Has he played that to perfection? And the answer is no. It is cuttable to the middle. That was a very high risk. Both players are taking high risks here. Harris will be disappointed. He had another opportunity. And the reason why they're missing, they're trying so hard. They're pushing their bodies to put everything and it's it's just not happening. You try too hard in any sport, it won't happen. You've got to relax and enjoy the moment. And this blue available as well. This is a very important frame, best of seven. You're playing to stay in the tournament. Mohammed will go to rank number one in this group. And if Parrish loses, he's out of the tournament. So completely different pressures. But nevertheless, play your game and enjoy the moment. He's played that very smooth. So let's have a look at the points. Three points in it with this blue to come. Just dropped his chalk there. That's it. Knows now that that red he missed into the middle could cost him this frame. He's staying in the zone. He's not looking away. He's focusing on what's happening at the present. Some players tend to look away. But stay at the table and focus. That's the best way to do it. I have seen in one incident when the player's at the table, he's missed, he sat down and the referee's told his opponent he, he, it's his go at the table because he didn't realise. So you must stay focused. be at the present as the points are slipping away from Paris now he knows that this red could cost him this frame but there's three reds available but the reality is break building he'd be very far ahead and it's going to be very difficult to win and that's a clever shot He's tied those two 
yellows up to secure the frame because they have been needed to be in play as well so you won't be touching the two reds or the red on the cushion i've learned a lot watching these players play a little flick here and a flick there is indicating they're trying to keep everything tight they don't want to leave it in the open Look how cool Paris is. Well done. Staying focused. So important. Because you don't know if you're going to get another chance. But the 27 plus. 5. The 32. Now. This is the opportunity Paris is looking for. Misfortune onto the green. It's going to make it very difficult for a safety. So will Mohammed take this red on? Absolutely. He's going all in on this red. 36 points the difference. Well, that's a very good shot. And tying the pink up as well. So he'll be looking at leaving the cue ball behind the pink, probably. And that's a very clever shot. Putting the black safe as well. And this frame is going to be so difficult to win. If that's touching, that's a big bonus for Mohammed. Is this? Do you see what he's done there? He's indicating to himself where he wants to go with the cue ball. So he's trying to hide the cue ball. So it is touching ball. He's trying to hide it behind the brown in line, but it hasn't reached. And Paris has got this last opportunity to take this red to the middle. He has to somehow find it find the angle and start break building because the two reds by the pink are opened up so he's got a good chance but he has to pot this red <coughs> he hasn't done it and he's left it Wow, and behind the black, he will take the double on, I'm sure. That's the only 
option there with this red, but a bit risky. But I feel that might be the right shot. Stay at the table. Keep your break going. Or the containing safety. And protect the lead. So he's just weighing it up. Do I go for Wow, you can see the red. Can he? Can he see the red? Slight swerve around. And this. For the first time, I've seen Mohammed very disappointed not making that red. Very difficult with the side. Yes, he knows Mohammed has got an opportunity to take this frame. It is cold in the arena. But this red. Yeah, he's trying to warm his hands up. They've been battling since 10 o'clock. We're coming up to the two hour mark and both players are feeling the psychological part of the game. Taking over an hour a frame. But, well, not an hour a frame, I apologize. Com coming up to uh, around about 30 minutes per frame. So the fatigue will play a part. Be disappointed for that. He needed that seven points to be trailing by 25. And how important will that black ball be? And the answer is quite easy. He's lost seven points. So as we watch now, the game slipping away. Mohammed is looking in good control to take a 2-1 lead. With Mohammed taking that frame, 2-1, Paris will look at this and say, I'm going to carry on playing the way I'm playing, because I've got belief in my game. But it's turning in to be a great game. So we're going to take a commercial break. Join us very shortly.
from the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, Paris, carry on playing your game. Very determined. He only just lost that previous game. Only just unforced errors, big in offs. Said goodbye to that frame. 
but Mohammed has dug in deep. This is a very important frame for Paris because if he goes 3 1 down, he has to win three in a row. And that's going to be very difficult. But he will have to do it to stay in the tournament. Mohammed will not give him the option of long shots because he knows how powerful this young man can play Mohammed's coming down to have a look here he looks like he's going to come come off the cushion and hit the red on the left hand side and not leave anything on but I'm looking at the monitor and the presentation from Harris, he might take this on. That is very unlucky. That is super unlucky. So this game is going to have completely different feelings for both players. Mohammed knows that if he takes this frame, he'll be one away. And watching that shot is indicated to me. He's putting himself under pressure there. He was bridging very high and digging into the cue ball. But I'm not too sure if he's left that red to the corner. I don't think he has. If he has... It's a very fine cut. So he hasn't. But Paris, you have to be careful. Because if you leave that red on, Mohammed will take this on. So he's trying to hide the cue ball. Has he done it? Yes, he has. And that's an excellent shot. He's used the blue there. But has he or has he well he didn't and Mohammed just missed that is that a free ball plant in the cluster he's looking at it is it there? It's just below the pink. The three reds together. He is looking at this will be a very attacking shot. But I feel he might go to the red, red in the open. Yeah, he's, he's going to take the red in the open. Doesn't want to take that plant on. It's too risky. Ross is just, uh, Paris, sorry, Paris has just moved slightly on his Q action there. So he's feeling the pressure. It's understandable. He knows he's got to win this frame to stay in the tournament. Due to the fact that he lost his first match. It's okay. He's got the red to the left as well. The options he's left himself is so important. Players tend to play with a lot of feelings, a lot of passion. They don't show it very often, but when they do, it's very enjoyable to watch. So 
So this red is the right selection. And that's well played. So he's starting to get into control again. And this is what it, Paris has to do. He has to start believing in his game. He's a very attacking potting machine. But this is a very big frame. He knows he's got to win it regardless. He doesn't want to be 3-1 down. And that's a very clever shot. So he's left himself an option. The bulk red. Or freeze the red. Whichever way he wants to go. For the black. Hit it a little bit too hard. But he's okay. He hasn't left anything easy. Using the browning the green for cover. Very clever. for the foul and the miss he has to be careful i've only seen it one time in all the championships i've commentated on where the free fouls was lost a frame and in this tournament we got to two fouls and a miss with the reds in the open so he has to make sure he hits it Well, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the most important shot of Paris's tournament. If he misses it, he will be trailing three frames to one. He has to hit a red. The referee has just warned him. He has explained, if you miss this red, the frame. So that's... He had no miscue. We saw him yesterday miscue on two occasions. But yes, he went for it this time. Well played. And that's excellent, excellent shot.
So good fortune there. Ricocheting off the red. I'm just watching the replay and that was a very good fortune shot. And that's why he apologised. This game will suit Mohammed more than it will suit Paris because the tactical battle, I feel Mohammed is stronger today. And Paris is attacking on everything. So. This will suit Mohammed game. See, Paris is still attacking. Putting everything safe. Fatigue is playing a major part, to be fair. They've been battling out there for the last few hours. Will Paris go for this? Absolutely. He will try and take something on. He's going safety. He's falling into the trap of safety, I'm afraid. And this will suit Mohammed. So the black's tied up. The pink's okay. And the blue's just waiting. Which way is he going here? Is he going to... Just having a look. Is he going to draw the cue ball back? Oh, that's a great shot. Well played. Oh, the red's just come out. He tried to go in behind the blue. And look at the pink and the black. They've all come out. So this red. And all of a sudden... Just looking at the monitor. I'm looking at camera for he can pot it. So he has to make sure he gets it. He cannot afford a human error. Presentation's excellent. Focus is excellent. He's like an archer. He's got to hit the bullseye to stay in the game. And he's done it. Has he got a bit of good fortune? No. Dear of him, he tried so hard to hold on to the black. I'm starting to feel the passion out there. He is trying so hard. But the good news is, he's in front with the points. So this is, they call it the bog down game. And every red and every color is very important at this stage. Try to go in behind the yellow and that's a good shot. Very well played, but he's left the two reds together and the bottom to get a good escape.
Yeah, he did look at the pink. He knew the pink was going over that area. So he wasn't worried about that because he's not left anything. But wait a minute, where's the red? Where's the red? Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. The, the good fortune coming in to take that red like that. I'm just going to watch the replay on that. How did that go in? Wow, it was a plant in behind the two reds. We talked about good fortune and that's what you need. Even my camera crew. Had... <laughs> but where's the white? He's okay. Sometimes we see mysterious things happen in the game. We see it a lot in the pool world. We, we don't often see it in the snooker world, but that is one of them. And that will go down as a big highlight shot for Paris because he knows that this game, he's got to win it. And maybe... The good fortune is smiling on him to take this frame. Long, long way to go. Hit it too hard. You can't hit them at that pace. They won't go in. But he will be disappointed knowing that that was an opportunity to start break building. seeing how he's going to get the cue ball back I'm looking here I don't think he can oh, he's going to yeah he's going to draw the cue ball back but that has opened up the reds even more so good fortune from both players but has he left no it's not a plant he left anything there yes he has now Paris might take this into the middle but he's going for a big shot pressure on the thread wow what a shot that was that was a great shot Too early to look at the scores. We'll look at them later on in the match. But that was a great red. Now he wants to pink out the way. I can assure you he's looking. To open the door for the other reds. Irish is hesitating because I don't think he's on this red let's have a look at the camera angle and I no it's not there he's miles away from the pink but he's taking the yellow pocket on Paris you are back on form welcome back that was a great shot so he might roll up behind the green. Yeah, that, that that was the right shot. He's trying to protect the lead. So now this tactical battle 
is taking place. But has he made it? No. So it will be a foul and a miss. So that's another four points. It's still too early to look at the scoreboard. So another foul and a miss. Wrong scoreboard. That's the run. So that would go to 34. That's perfect. It's very difficult for the referees. They've been out there for hours on end. All day. There are four sessions. We're running overtime on this session. the next session is on this table at one o'clock so straight after this will be the next session but there's still a long way to go so that's much better now is there anything on Looking, I can't see anything. That was a very high risk shot to take on. And he hasn't left anything. I don't think that. I'm just looking at the monitor. I don't think the two reds. Either one of them go into the middle pocket. So another containing safety here into the ball carrier. Possible behind the green. He's trying to go in behind the yellow. But that's okay, just a containing safety. tap on the table from his opponent is indicating that was a good safety shot but I feel that this will be a better one coming around behind the green just needs it to travel a few more inches he didn't make it but that pink is going to cause a major problem for both players but wait a minute. Does this red go past? The pink? It does. And what a shot that was. By Mohammed. 
He didn't get the reward to be on the pink, but he has got the black. But what a fantastic shot. Nice black. Does that red go past? I'm not too sure. But he's got the option. But it's a bit too risky. To come off the cushion and hit into the pink. These players are representing their countries. They've had to go through qualifying stages to be here. So congratulations to all the players in the Asian Snooker Championships. To represent your country is a great honor. And it's a great achievement. And you're You've got your fellow colleagues watching, your family watching. So congratulations to all the players. Wow, now that is an unexpected error there. Potting the pink. The unforced error has crept in. Now it's about maintaining the concentration spell. Very difficult in any sport, but in snooker, you have to focus 100% constantly and it's taken a toll on both players and their mental ability. And human errors are starting to creep in. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. 16 plays 40. 24 in it. And this red is potable into the middle. But the two reds to the right of the cushion are going to be a key well, they're going to be keyboards as well. And all of a sudden, fatigue is playing a major part in Mohammed's game. He's falling down, missing easy shots for himself. He's more than capable of putting them, but he's tending to missing them. And both players deserve a break after this shot because, uh, after this game, sorry. Fatigue is playing a major part. Both players are cold in the arena. The conditions on the table. It's a nice warm slate. Not too many kicks today. But 
both players are trying so hard to maintain that consistency balance. So this red now to the right middle and look at the points starting to run away with this game. He has to win it to stay in the tournament this match. So it's different psychological pressures as well because Mohammed won his first opening match. And I feel that the knockout stages are tomorrow. Well, that's perfect on the red now for the black as well. So the brown, I'm sure he wants to get that respotted. A lot of the snooker players tend to get the balls back on their spots. They want them there for the end game. But Paris is put in a, a tremendous performance, a lot of heart to try and do well and stay in the tournament. And Qatar Airways are the official sponsor for the event. So we welcome them. And of course, Araka, the official table, Classic M1. It's a great title to have, Asian Snooker Championships champion. But both players have got a long, long way to go. They battle for six days to see who is the best on the day of the tournament. I still believe that this gentleman from India can do very well. He hasn't performed to his best. But 16 plays 68. The frame is slipping away. He will take this red on down to the corner. Knowing that the other red is secure. And the brown's awkward. That's how the players see it sometimes. I've learned during the commentary. That players tend to attack at certain times of the game. What a shot. What a shot. Mohammed is saying, I am going for this now. And that was a very controlled cue ball. That was too difficult, Mohammed taking that on. But the attack was there. He's telling his opponent, I'm going to attack as well. And so is, my, uh, so is Paris. He's, he's looked at this. He's saying, I'm going to go for this as well. Let's go all in on this red. So the game's completely changed from tactical to attack. And it's all because of the brown and the red near the cushion. So that's why he's attacking. He's only going to leave the red he's going for. But he didn't take it on. That's a very clever shot.
Well, that's a big miss from Mohammed. And the points. And the game has been surrendered. It's two apiece, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a commercial. So stay with us and join us very shortly. Can Paris make this and take the next frame? We're only a few minutes away to find out. So join us very shortly after the commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made.
Well, if you've just joined us, welcome. It's been in a very emotional game. Paris from India has got to win this match to stay in the tournament. Mohammed will go in the group stages as rank number one. And Paris will be on the plane going back to India. This is a very important game for him. And the pressure is completely different. It's been a very emotional game all the way through. Both players representing their country. Both players trying to do their best. The conditions that you have to adapt to. It's not like in a local tournament. The conditions are completely different. The surroundings for the TV table will play a part of your game. You can't really practice these occasions unless you have a mansion. And there it is again. We've seen the foul and the miss a few times today on the open reds. So it's in the alignment of the player just trying to catch it too thin. He hit it with pace, so it couldn't have rolled off or gone away. He's a complete miss. And also, what I've noticed, because it's cold in the arena, the players are not wiping their cue very often. If you see Mohammed to the left there, he's, he's trying to warm his hands up. Because it is very cold in the arena. It's something to do with the balls, it, the conditions. So you have a very hot table and a very cold arena. So when the players are sitting down, it's like the only way I can describe it is open the fridge and sit in the fridge. <laughs> and then when you get to the table, your hands are starting to warm up. And some players tend to wear gloves. Amir from Iran uses a glove. Ali O'Bailey uses the glove as well. But one thing about what I've noticed with the billiard cue, they don't tend to wipe their cue very often, so it's not sticky. And they use the wooden cue. I have seen the graphic cue. We tend to use the graphic cues in, in pool. They're not very common in the snooker game. I haven't seen anybody here with a carbon snooker cue. Yeah, he's trying to warm up there. It is cold. So Harris will take this red to the corner. He will. He has to take it on because he doesn't want his game to slip away. Very attacking. He's coming down to see if there's a path back around. So how can you prevent from getting cold? Well, some players wear thermal vests. In the pool world, we tend to use thermal sleeves. Oh, what a shot. He did see that. But he's apologised, so he didn't. And that was a great shot if he did uh, play it, but he did apologise, so that indicated that he didn't see it. And that's good sportsmanship. And also in the arena, the lights on the pool, uh, on the snooker table take a major effect as well, because right above you is a heat 
the heat coming down from all the lights and that plays a part as well I was in Sri Lanka and for the first time I, I was there on a holiday and I was in the Scotland and England hotel and they said we have a snooker table would you like a game of snooker so as I walked in I saw this snooker table must have had eight legs a very old table and he got the balls out and they were made of ivory and I said I won't be able to play because the light he turned the lights on and they were gas lights that's how old the, the room was and he showed me the cue and I said well, I've never used a cue like this before it had no farrel and uh, so we were rolling just I said I'll play without the lights on and the cue ball was like hitting an egg <laughs> it was going all over the place so it just goes to show different tables in different arenas so this is a beautiful table But it's just getting used to the conditions. As you can see that unforced error there. And it's allowed Mohammed come to the table. So this black starting to look in great form again. Mohammed knows he's got to get positioning. Get back to his game. played it's such a standard Muhammad plays hat so we phased that fame out of the way and don't forget Muhammad was two nil up at once well I apologize he was two one up at one stage and that previous game slipped away from him due to his opponent attacking with the potting much better shot so the scoreboard now is going into the 30s from this black and starting to pull away this is worrying times for Paris and his supporters knowing that Mohammed's at the table starting to build up the break This black is so important. Yeah, he's played that very well. So another containing safety, but he need, he's just he's just happy to get the points at this stage. I know he wants to get break building, but he didn't have the power to get to the next red. But he's just happy to keep taking reds. To colors as well we build that lead I'd be happy with this outcome and put another red safe and this is how 
Muhammad's wearing down his opponent. Tactical battle. Break building. You don't see it very often. tap on the table indicating that was a good shot so this red he will be forced to take it on beautiful believe me ladies and gentlemen that shot was so difficult he was under tremendous pressure okay he didn't really leave anything in the open but to make that happen at that pace is is really a delight it really is. So the plant there as well. I've, I'm not too sure if that is a plant. But he will take in the spread to the middle. Mohammed's starting to run away with this frame. And that is the difference of taking that red on. We tend to look at this game and say, yes, it's easy. You travel thousands of miles. You're in a tournament. You're in the group stages, then the knockout stages, then the final. So it, you have to produce your game straight away to get to that stage. And you try so hard. And what happens if you're feeling ill? Fatigue has played a major part and you didn't perform. There are great contenders for the title. Pankaj. As well. Amir from Iran, defending champion. For me, Ali Bailey as well with the potting. I haven't got. A, I never tend to pick a player on form. So it's very difficult to maintain that balance of sentry breaks, potting ability throughout the six days. They say you get stronger as you go get along. And this red, yeah, he's, he has to pot it to stay in the tournament. Yeah, he's made a terrible human error there. He's, he's thinking, well, I'll come back around the black. So fatigue is playing a part. Mohammed will see the three reds tied up and the pink and the black. He'll be taking one red, one colour, play safe. That's another point on the scoreboard. And Mohammed has stopped Paris from taking risky shots and getting them. So it's very well played, tactical battle-wise. Yes, he has taken the yellow, but he's just getting one point, two point, play safe. Points are building up. Every red. Stopping his opponent from getting points as well. That's how he's thinking. Four. 
very well controlled. <laughs> and that, this is the best Mohammed's performance in the match. He's starting to perform again. We saw glimpses in the frame one, but Mohammed all of a sudden knows that he has to perform. And he tends to play stronger when balls are tied up. And he's getting pinpoint position now. So this seven, take him to 67, plays 12. So very well played. And that's what Mohammed can do. <laughs> Just creep away with the scoreboard, stay very quiet in attacking and leaving his opponent with difficult shots. And when his opponent comes to the table, he's going to say, my opponent's in the 70s. How did that happen? It's only a break of 20, but it's the way he's played the game. He doesn't really want to open the reds, but he might have the angle. Yeah, he didn't really want to open them, really. He's happy to keep it tight. So 75 <laughs> plays 12. The game has been surrendered. We we'll stayed with the game. Now we're going to have to work out how Paris is going to come back in this match. Now, there's a couple options. Do you A, carry on with your game, knowing that it could turn things around? B, play a bit more tactical? Or C, go for everything? I would go for option C and hope your game turns up because you're three two down and you've got to win two in a row the tournament yeah it's a must win frame and i feel that there's other games then there's some gentlemen from Sri Lanka. i explained earlier about the snooker table and they identified the table as well they know about the table apparently it's a very old table as well in Sri Lanka. i played on and incidentally if you've ever played on a pyramid table, I was in just outside Russia, and that's a different experience again. <coughs> so for all the parish fans around the world and family members watching your young man represent India, it's a must win frame. Well, he's out of the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024 tournament. As for Mahana fans and family, he will become top of his group. And that's what he can do. What a beautiful shot. Coming up to the three hour mark for this match. I have noticed something 
And the answer is Mohammed is attacking safety by bringing out the raid, the reds, and making it very difficult for him to get safe. And this has put tremendous pressure on Paris to try and find something. But I still feel he's going to go for it. He's going to wait for a better opportunity. Fair play. And this will suit Mohammed. Just picking them off one by one. To win the match. Tap on the table. Great respect. And that's one thing in all sports everybody needs to do is have great respect for your opponent. You don't see it all the time, but it's lovely when you do. Yeah, the, the Paris came right off his Kirach in there. He knows if he loses this game, he's on the plane home. Knowing that he didn't perform well in this tournament. We talked about the arena being a little bit cold. They're just going to try and turn the temperature up a little bit for both players. It is a bit chilly out there. They have been battling coming up to three hours. Tremendous pressure on both players. It's something you can't really practice. The mental ability in match play. Because you can stop and have a cup of tea and have something to eat. These guys have been out there since 10 o'clock to where we are now. Non-stop action. But it's the ability to maintain the focus. The ability for the strategy of the game and you're pushing your body to the maximum every second and you're not how can I explain um, your mind's not wandering away from the table watching other people play you are absolutely focused 100% and that's taken a toll on both players so you have to overcome that and that comes with experience and they both got it out there but it does affect the game as well. Your opponent misses, you miss. He pots, you pot. So that strategy comes in as well. And the biggest part of this game in snooker is, is the mind ability as well. Pushing barriers. So it's all very difficult. We don't see that, I'm afraid. The players can see it. You see Mohammed there freezing there. He's trying to keep his arms warm. I'm sure he'd wear a jacket straight after. Oh, 
Now this red to the middle. I'm surprised. Mohammed's just coming around the table here to look where he wants the white. Yeah, the easy ones are becoming more difficult. His arms have cold and he's not really warmed up out there. So this is taking an effect on him. And that's a great shot there by Mohammed. So this blue and there's another plant available just above the pink spot. He can make that. He's he's had a look. He's very good at plants. Forced error on the yellow will allow Mohammed to come in. Yeah, he's rubbing his arms, he's trying to get his blood flowing. It's very cold in the arena. I'm sure he'll wear a get a heated vest out there. Like I said before, we 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 tend to wear sleeves as well. It happens in the pool world in many pool tournaments. We, we we tend to have the AC on. I remember playing out on the world stage and uh, my cue was just going through my hand. It was so cold. So it does take effect on the cue as well and the way you play. Here's another interesting fact for you. Players tend to drink two to three liters of water during a match as well. So their bodies don't dehydrate. It's very important to make sure you've got plenty of water. So you don't dehydrate because you're pushing your body as well. And the sigh of relief here you can see with the presentation on the cue action.
a little bit of frustration there, knowing that he doesn't want to be there. You don't often see this in players. They disguise it very well because of their mental ability. That's beautiful and straight. Absolutely perfect. Table's running very nicely. Yo, oh, there it is. The dreaded miscue has arrived. I saw that yesterday. Harris did it yesterday on two occasions. He had a straightforward green and he jumped the cue ball over the green. And he had a straightforward blue and the cue fell out of his hand. So, so we talked about the conditions. So it's ha taken effect on the cues as well. You have to adjust to it. That's a great shot. First time in the game I've seen the cue ball cleaned, so it's not too bad. I did see on day one the cue ball cleaned a few times as well. Wow, that just went in. It did hit the knuckle. But Paris knows that he has to win this frame. It's too early to look at the scores. Plenty of points. And anything can happen. But he certainly doesn't want to be on the airplane going back to India. He wants to be at this tournament. Very important stage now. But he's pulling away a little bit. It's, it's, we talked about the score just now, but... He would like a 30-40 break, to be fair. He's more than capable of doing it. But here, in these conditions... Completely different. Yeah, he's, he knows he's going to hit the black. That's the problem. But he's going to try and hit the black in a controlling way. Very good shot, this. If, if, watch how he does it. Oh, he missed the black. Now, it's not missing the red was the problem. 
he was focused on hitting the black and that's why he missed the red because he, he was trying to flick the black sometimes the best way out of that scenario is just pop the red and just have a little bit of faith in your game and you might get that little run but at least you're at the table but in that way he's played it he's completely missed the pot and given the table back to his opponent so that will go down with experience there. Mohammed knows that he hasn't played a good shot there. He wanted to stay with the black. So it's just those little delicate shots you've got to be careful of. And you overthink them. And where's the pink being where it is? He will put the pink back on the spot. Just looking for the next red, which where he's indicating. See that? He's indicating where he wants to be. So he's just stunning it through. Doesn't want to hit it too hard. Yeah, and that's perfect. He's taking the red to the right of the black pocket and holding for the black. So he will need those two reds near the right cushion. That's a, yeah, he didn't really want to touch that red. He just wanted to say, or oh, just hold it for the black. And that little flick has made it a little bit more difficult now because he's running up the table with the angle. A couple of choices. He can just float near the middle pocket. Now he's gone for the bigger option and gone all in. And left a very difficult red now. So this is a glimmer of hope for Paris, knowing that this 23 break has ended. But it's a big ask on this red can he pot it no he can't but where's he left the white At 10 points in it Paris has to somehow find This middle pocket, he he has to go for it. I feel that he, he needs to take this on. The safety is very difficult. That's why he's taking a bit of extra time. I feel that's the wrong shot. I think, he can, can he just see the red? The ball get, I don't think he can. Well, Mohammed is looking at the right black pocket for this red the, the way he plays it is so he's only leaving this red so watch how he does it because he won't be taking the red the cue ball back to the ball carrier because it's too risky maybe that's too much of a risk as well so a containing safety and leave the cue ball down on the black rail. Wow, he completely fooled me there. What a shot. I didn't expect him to pop that. And that was a great shot. And he's potted very well. So 
So it just goes to show his confidence is back. And this could be a match-winning opportunity. And Paris will look at this and say, what could I have done there? I played an excellent safety shot. And Mohamed has just gone in and... It'd be fair to say, the shot of the match. There's been a few of them. So this green, and for all the Paris fans around the world and family, your young man has put in a great performance. He has tried so hard. He really has. It was a pleasure to watch him play. It's not over by any means, but it was an honor and pleasure to watch him. It was great potting and his ability as well. And he will come back even stronger, I'm sure, in the years to come. He didn't perform very well in the tournament, losing his first opening match. He didn't perform well. I did the commentary on his first match. I saw glimpses of what his, ab uh, his ability of potting is, as well as his safety. It wasn't his day today, as the match is starting to slip away now. But he will come back even stronger next year, and more tournaments to come. He has to carry on with that incredible potting ability game, and self belief is is the key to any any sport. And he was really believing in himself and game, but it doesn't happen overnight it takes years of experience and thousands of hours of dedication and he'll learn from this match with the conditions as well lovely person to speak to and i wish him all the best in the future as while well, the match is slipping away now this red to the corner and the points are slipping away but he did put in a big performance to take those two frames. It was lovely to watch him play. As we say, this match has slipped away. But he did play very well. And he dealt with what he could do at the time. It's always the same. It's a sad that there's a loser. But he put in a great performance. Snookers are required. It just goes to show the heart of this young man. I've seen many players give up. But this young man is trying his heart out, representing his country. And I'm sure all his fellow men are watching and family, wishing him all the best. It hasn't happened today, but he will be back, trying so hard to stay in contention to become a champion one day in the Asian Snooker Championships of 2025. He's done so well to get here through the qualifying rounds. But it didn't happen. But snookers are required. But he's not given in. And that shows the determination of this young man. 
What I feel with this shell over the pocket is the shake of a hand. Stay tuned for the interview. Above the heart of Dohar, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Dohar, where history is about to be made. 